Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I make a pom-pom with a pom-pom maker. You may have seen other videos where I'm making my pom-poms using pre-cut uh, cardboard pieces um, and th that works just fine. I do like to use a pom-pom maker when I'm making a lot of pom-poms because it is so much faster and they are so much easier to fluff and they're pretty much already fluffed when you take them off of the pom-pom maker. All right, let's take a look at the supplies we'll need to make these tool pom-poms. Most importantly, you'll need to get some tool. Uh, you can find this at any craft store or even at Walmart. You'll also need to get a pair of really sharp scissors. This is important as you're cutting the tool. Uh, you're cutting a lot of it at once and you need for it to be able to cut nicely through that tool. You'll also need some kind of ribbon. That's what you're using to tie off your pom-pom. Some people want them to hang long and, and show and others will cut them short where they don't show. Um, and that will really determine what kind of ribbon you need. And this video is all about how to do it with a pom-pom maker. And that's what I'm holding here. Again, it's not a necessary tool to have, but if you're making a lot of pom-poms, it is so worth the investment. Um, I'm taking it apart here just to show you how it goes together. I have to be honest, when I first started using it, it felt a little overwhelming to me, but it is really, really easy, I promise. Uh, it's really easy to do and it will save you a lot of time. So you just put that together and then line up the notches like I'm doing here on the side um, because you're going to open one side of that and you'll see you have to open both pieces um, and you'll open that together and pull it apart. And we're going to take our tool and what we're going to do is wrap that tool around this side. If you kind of think of your pom-pom, think of this as one half of your pom-pom. And we're just going to keep wrapping it around and around and around these two pieces. We're going to hold them together and keep them lined up evenly as we're doing that. And uh, that's what's really great about the pom-pom maker. You know, um, it's keeping it even because of how it's shaped. It's really forming your circle for you and you're not going to have to do all the fluffing you do when you use a cardboard piece. Again, I made a lot of pom-poms with cardboard. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is going to do all the work for you because of how it's designed. And so you'll see we'll just keep wrapping this um, tool around. And I want to point out something to you, and I'm, I'm kind of doing this incorrect just to show you an easy way and a little bit harder way. Notice how I started on the outside to the left. Look how I'm starting on the outside of the uh, pom-pom maker and working my way to the inside where all the connections is, you know, where it closes to become one. And notice as I do that, I'm having to lift the tool all the way up over this pom-pom and bring it back around. I'm doing that just to show you this pom-pom will look just as good as if I um, started on the inside and worked outward. Uh, but when I start outward and work inward, I'm lifting the pom-pom over the pom-pom maker. It just makes it harder and it takes, I don't, I don't want to say it takes like that much longer, but it does take longer. So you'll see me, um, I'll wrap this side up and then I'll show you the right direction. So I finished one full side. It doesn't matter what side I started on. It all works the same. I finished wrapping the tool around um, and you'll see I've got a pom-pom, you know, uh, tool sticking out on both sides where it started and stopped. And I just need to push this pom-pom maker closed. I just got to push those latches back in. Remember, those were the latches that we had originally unopened. Uh, but now I need to go to the other side and undo the latches to the other side of my pom-pom and get those lined up so that I can then do the exact same thing on the other side. Now notice this time I start my tool on the inside and I'm saying that's the the side where the latches kind of are central and I'm going to wrap it all the way around just like I did last time but I'm going to wrap it towards the outside and see how much easier it is for me to wrap this tool around and I just point that out just because when I was getting started those are little things that you know I didn't know and it made it a little bit harder for me so I get it all the way wrapped around and just as I did the first time I'm just going to shut the pom-pom maker um, and now both sides have been full made full of tool um, and I just gotta clasp that shut I'm really good and I'm just squeezing, making sure it's all attached. You can see the four pieces sticking out. Those are the uh, places where uh, the pom-pom or the tool, keep calling it pom-pom, where the tool 
you know, started and stopped. And now I'm really ready for that next step. And that next step is when I'm going to start cutting. So this is where you need your really sharp scissors um, because you're going to be cutting through all of this tool right down the center uh, where you see my running my finger. And it's, you can almost see the line, you know, underneath the, the tool and the pom pom maker, you see like the open crease and you're really lining up your scissors right in the center. Uh, so you can just make that cut right down the center of the pom pom. And you just work your way with your scissors down that um, center open area. It's really guiding your cut, which is nice. You don't have to worry about being in the middle. As long as you're cutting right where that line is, you know you're in the middle. And then you've got to go to the other side and you do the exact same thing and find that center opening and get your scissors, work your scissors down there and then cut that line all the way in the middle down the tool to the end of the pom-pom maker. And you are almost done. Now you've gotten your pom-pom, it's all, it's all uh, the, the tools put on the pom-pom maker and now you've made your cut. Now you've got to get a ribbon tied around the middle. Um, and that's where this pom-pom maker works out so nice. It's so easy to get your ribbon exactly in the middle of your pom-pom. And so just cut a piece. It, the length doesn't matter unless you want them hanging. If you're going to want them, you know, ribbon hanging from your pom-pom, you'll want them to be a little longer. Um, and you just slide it in this opening and you've got to work it in all the way around. Like on the ends, that's where you sometimes you just have to kind of thread it to make sure, make sure you're getting through there. And once you get it all the way around, you need to knot it. So tie a knot um, in this ribbon and pull really tight, getting that knot down into the middle. It's got to go like in between these two sides of the pom-pom maker. Now you can do a couple of things. If you wanted, you could tie the second knot right now like I'm doing. So you just go ahead and get that second knot through and you pull it really, really tight. Um, or some people wait and don't tie the second knot until they get this pom-pom machine taken apart. Um, as long as you're getting the knot really tight, I think you're good to go here. You saw me, I even just did three knots. And once you get those knots in, then you need to get this pom-pom maker off of your pom-pom. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to open the sides of your pom-pom just like you open the sides of them when you were threading it. So you've got to get your thumb and pull those apart. And that's what's really going to be releasing the pom-pom. And then you've got to go to the other side and do the exact same thing and pull those knobs up just like you did when you were originally putting the tool on. And then once you get those sides both open, this is where then you're going to pull the pom-pom maker apart, just like you saw at the very beginning when we put it together. You pull that apart and that will then release your full pom-pom. There you see it when I'm just putting it back together. So the thing I love about the pom-pom maker is look at how fluffy and ready and round this pom-pom is. There is no you know, turning and twisting the tool into the left and to the right and up and is it even and is it a circle? Your pom-pom is ready when it comes off the pom-pom maker, which I just love. So now all you really need to do is you need to trim off these pieces of tool from when you first started threading each side. Remember you had one when you started the side and then one when you ended and we left them a little long. Now you're just coming in and you're evening those out a little bit so that your pom-pom doesn't have pieces sticking out that are really long. Um, and that's it. You pull that ribbon and that's kind of finding the bottom point for you. You can continue to fluff and trim. I just find when I use a pom-pom maker, um, it's not really necessary to trim that much. Um, I mean, there's nothing that's supposed to be perfect about a pom-pom anyway. Again, making tool pom-poms is really easy, especially when you're using a pom-pom maker. This is the Clover Extra Large Size. It makes about four and a half inch size pom-poms. They make many different sizes. It took me a couple of tries to get this right one for this larger pom-pom. So again, it's the Extra Large Clover. Um, I'll link to it below. 
Um, thanks for taking time to watch my pom-pom video today. If you found anything helpful, please make sure you tap the um, like button. And if you like to DIY, tap subscribe. Thanks.